Jeremiah chapter 7, verse 8 through 10. You ready? I'm ready. Are you ready? Okay. Don't be fooled into thinking that you'll never suffer because the temple is here. It's a lie. Do you really think you can steal, murder, commit adultery, and burn incense to Baal and all those other new gods of yours? And then come here and stand before me in my temple and chant, we are safe, only to get right back to all those evils again. The reason I came up with this Bible verse, so I was in the sauna with my brother's friend, so probably like three days ago or something, uh -huh. and we were talking about um, medications, because he's an anesthesiologist, and me and him were just talking about it, and some other guy overheard us and started like, kind of saying his own stuff, and then he ended up bringing up the topic that how he has uh, muscle twitches and that's like oh. one of his disorders. Same thing as you, right? And I forgot the exact diagnosis he used or whatever for the um, disease he had. But pretty much one time he was just sitting at home. All his muscles at the same time were twitching and he could not control it. Just like going crazy. And this, at during that time, he said his wife left him and he was just pretty much lonely and didn't know what to do. And then like this disease was um, kind of like taking control of his life. So he called up his brother, which lived at a trailer home, drove there and told him we need to pray right now for my disease or the sickness. Because like none of the doctors can do anything. So I, like, uh -huh. I'm hoping God can fix it. And his brother is drunk, stoned, and he's like, yeah, sure, let's do it. And then he falls to, he has the Bibles in, in his hands, falls to his knees. And the guy that was in the sauna thought his brother just passed out. And he's like, great. <laughs> now I got like a passed out stone brother or whatever. Yeah. But he fell to his knees actually, pointed to a part of the Bible, which was this verse right here. And mm -hmm. said that, and like when he read it, it literally said like, why are you coming to me with your pretty much your suffering, your diseases when you're li living a terrible lifestyle? And that like kind of opened up to him because he was he said that he was like going out with a bunch of women, just like messing around with them, taking drugs. And he's over here like trying to come to God to fix his life up.